Aussie rules football legend. He's won two premierships in a career that has spanned nearly 20 years. Since retiring, he's kept busy by writing books, presenting TV, uh, coaching, and charity work with Where for Success. He's showing no signs of slowing down. Please welcome the wonderful Paul Salmon. <laughs> Thanks for being here, buddy. Lovely to meet you. Oh my God, hold on, stay there. There you go. Oh my, yeah, finally, that, that's the shot I want. Oh my goodness. I'm very brave of you. <laughs> Thank you oh, very whoa. much. Well, way down here. I could play ruck as long as I had a table there. You probably could, mate. You probably could. Thanks certainly had the sit. That's what they call the sit in Australian rules football. The I could sit. have just. Well, yeah, I, I, you could have just put your knee on my shoulder. Oh, right. Pretended it was a ball. Yep. And taken the grab. Oh, yeah. I, don't want, I don't want to injure you. Mm. That's no, you that'd be a bit, Thank a little you for bit that. polite. You're I'm welcome. actually looking up at you. It's, I'm, it's disconcerting for oh, me. Right. I, it's, I never it's do it. Unusual. To anyone. I rarely look down at people. Actually, well, not good. physically, just emotionally. <laughs> uh, so, grand final tomorrow oh, yeah. uh, uh, for Melbourne, Melbournians watching it. What are you, you've, you've been in two winning teams. What's, what are players going through before a big grand final? Well, it's been a pretty slow week for a lot of the boys right. and culminating today in the grand final parade. And mm. look, that takes them right out of their comfort zone. So they'll be very pleased to be you know, tucked up in, mm. not so much in bed right now, but yeah. probably watching this show. Um, and, why, uh, does it, why does it, yeah, I think so. Hey, uh, fellas, yeah, good luck. Yeah, it's all over it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, very excited about the, uh, the big game. I mean, that's, uh, mm. it's, a, it's a big deal. Players, and we're pretty strange creatures. We, uh, you know, we live and breathe mm. uh, playing in this game. So yeah. it's a big deal. And, and they've got through probably the hardest part of the week. You know, uh, I remember in, it was a long time ago, 1993. I was uh, you do the ground. They're in convertibles, and you go down through the city, as right. you know. Um, and a lot of our guys got in there. They were young players. You know, mm. James Hurd, Mark McCurry, all these great. They turned out to be great champions. But they were young boys, and they, were, they seemingly looked a little bit out of their depth in the back of the cars. But at, you know, half a mile down, or half a kilometre, mm. shows my age, <laughs> down the road, uh, you know, they were waving to the crowd and blowing kisses to the girls and stuff. It was oh. just, it was fantastic. They came out of the show, and we went on to win the next day. It was a, a big buzz, but it's a big week for the guys. Well, that's interesting you say it's out of their comfort zone because they're surrounded by people. But the game yeah. now is just so packed. You're surrounded by hundreds of thousands of people. Yeah, yeah. Do you think it's even more intense now for players because the game's bigger, because there's more pressure and spotlight on them? Oh, look, it, it would have to be. I mm. mean, we, it's come so far and the, the scrutiny they're under nowadays um, mm. is significant. You know, they, they really can't get away with much off mm. or on the field. Um, but usually, yeah, footballers, any athlete for that matter, are pretty good at sort of focusing in the moment and, yeah, right. uh, and, and performing the task at hand, as you've demonstrated tonight in front of Oh, the no, world. I can't you stop are, thinking about them. Can you guys you, leave? Yeah. This is really intimidating. What a distraction, aren't they? <laughs> no, but no, the boys are good like that, so they, you know, there'll be some that really thrive on the big stage tomorrow yeah, right. in front of 100,000, and some will go into their shell and, and uh, regret their performance, but that's just the nature of the game. It's, yeah, of we're, not a, we're not like American sport where we get best of three or best of seven. It's, um, we put it out there for two hours and that's see it. it. Yeah, someone gets the booty and someone doesn't. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Well, uh, so you played for Essendon for a while, but then mm. you left and then you came back. And it was a Sheedy brought you back? Sheedy, yeah, he was the guy who brought me back. Yeah. S yeah, silly decision, really. <laughs> Why? Uh, well, you would have felt no special, one knows. though. though. You no felt one special, knows. though. Yeah, look, it was, it was interesting because um, I was 37 when mm. he asked me to do that. Mm. Um, and, and funnily enough, seven years before when I left, Essendon to go to Hawthorne, he, he didn't think I had any football left in me, so there was a little bit of irony in that. You right. Know, and we were sitting, sitting in my living room, and he was saying, I want you to come back, and I said something, you know, like, it's a prank. I yeah, thought, Kevin, well, you're, you're thinking, really, how bad are his options? You're a funny guy, you know? Yeah. And, um, it literally turned out that he was serious, and I, yeah. Yeah, I made a comeback. It was, it was good to do. We did play finals, and mm -hmm. um, we got knocked out uh, in a second semi, which right. um, is two weeks away from the grand final. But... Not, you know, no regrets there. Glad right. I did it. But um, it got you back to experience those uh, feelings of disappointment. Yeah, disappointment and, yeah, <laughs> and regret, yeah. But he's a bit of a character. There must have been weird, weird well, stories with him. Yeah, he had his moments. He actually, uh, but I'm a big, I'm a big fan of Kevin's. I've mean, yeah. got enormous respect. But um, there was one particular time in, uh, I was only a young kid. I was coming back from a major knee surgery. Mm -hmm. And um, it was well into 1985, well into the season. It was around 20. I was playing reserves. Couldn't get a kick. Uh, he picked me up from where I worked mm -hmm. and um, it was a little odd. He never really went out of his way for anyone, but he picked me up and said, I want to take you for a drive. And so here I get into a <laughs> Did, car. You don't get murdered in this. No, you're here. No, okay, that's great. All good. <laughs> but I'll shorten the yarn because I got into the car. He drives a little two-door two red Celica and I don't fit. So it's <laughs> what like a man really car. awkward. Yeah. Yeah. And he's, he's, we're driving to a park and I was jumping to conclusions. I was actually thinking I'm in a two-door red Celica with a middle-aged guy going to a park. Mm. I'm thinking, well, I'll do anything to, I'll do anything to get a game. I'll get a, I'm gonna, I'll, whatever it takes. And, and, we, and this is... Well, without, you don't know how I got this job, so I know how you... I'm, 
<laughs> I know how you feel, buddy. There you go. We got to the park, and with, I'm not even embellishing the story. He got a bag of Mindy's out of the out of the uh, glove box, and I thought, goodness me, this could be interesting. Um, and we sat down in the park, and now I'm in this park with a middle-aged guy with a bag of Mindy's, and mm. he's talking to me about um, what I've got to contribute in the finals. And to cut a, a long story short, he cut a deal with me. He said, mm. if you come out to training looking like you want to play and train the house down, he said... I'll play you in the grand final if we make it. And, mm. and, and it was a big deal to me because I went from not being able to get a kick in reserves footy mm. to uh, about four weeks later. Um, mm. well, I kicked 11 that week in the reserves and then four weeks later kicked six in a premiership win. So it was a, a big deal. So he's, he was a very good coach like that. He had great awareness of, um, of what was uh, going to get him the result he was after. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it was I, awesome. If it, if it feels a little rigged that he said, I will definitely give you a game yeah. in the premiership finals. It's like saying on, like, on a reality TV show, you're definitely going to be in the grand finals <laughs> if you see these songs. Well, yeah. I guess that's how he, he, know, he knew how to do it. Well, we were a good side, and, yeah. and, and he, uh, he knew that we were a better than even chance. And to go out yeah. to training that night yeah. and, and just look at my teammates who were all yeah. you know, in the senior side at the moment and actually figuratively you know, give them the bird and say, hey, I'm mm. in and you're not yet. So it made me feel good about myself. And he was a sort of an amateur psychologist in that way. You know, it's, um, he got us over the line and we won comfortably. And um, that was my first premiership. Yeah, yeah it was very exciting. Yeah, Great memory. Good. Thanks yeah, for taking me back. No, there you go. That's why we yeah. do on this show. No, Actually, I want to jump to talk about uh, your work with your charity. So, Wear, Wear for Success? It is Wear for Success, and Wonderful. thanks for mentioning that. Yeah, they do some great work. Um, mm. Wear for Success essentially uh, take on unemployed people mm. and, uh, and get them prepared for uh, employment. You know, mm -hmm. dress them, mm -hmm. uh, train them, skill them up for the job interviews. Uh, You're their sheety now. You're picking yeah. them back up. And, yeah. Yeah, I wish I could dress myself properly. <laughs> yeah, I just, right. There's something really lacking here, but yeah, right. uh, it's a great thing they do. I mean, th these people are referred by social services or mm -hmm. uh, you know, employment agencies, so they're pretty, they really struggled, and yep. um, they're at a point where they, they're not sure whether, what, what they're, where their life's going and mm -hmm. where it might be heading. So, where for success, take them in, uh, dress them. You should see these people when they, you know, they're in the room getting you know, dressed in suits, maybe for the first time. You know, they stand a, a foot taller, and um, it's just wonderful to see that. Well, then they could yeah. maybe be eye That's level where with I come you. In, so you know, I come in the, uh, wow, you're tall. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so then they just feel. I mean, feeling good about yourself mm -hmm. is a long way towards you know going and presenting yourself properly and feeling like you've got a role to play and um, yeah. and you can have a future. So yeah, and they're getting great results. So these people awesome. are getting jobs and they're getting on with their life. And if they get their job, they mm -hmm. go back and work for success. Will dress them, you know, for a week's worth of clothing for the work. So it's yeah, it's a that's real turnaround process. That's yeah. awesome. That's wonderful cool. work. Yeah. Well. Uh, you